All right, guys, welcome to Nash Mash number five. Um, apologies for us wearing the same clothes in a few videos in a row. We, uh, guess what, shot a bunch of videos all in one sitting because why not? Um, so for this video, uh, we like had a little bit of fun. I sent Bridget last night to uh, our local grocery store and I said, all right, you got $29. You have to find a whiskey that um, is under $29. And so why don't you kind of talk about the experience and what you came up with? Uh, so I picked this whiskey the same way that I also pick um, teams for March Madness. I, uh, I find the jerseys that I like the best and then I pick those teams and I usually always lose right away. Um, but I figured, you know, why not choose a whiskey the same way? So I found a couple that were under the dollar limit, and then I picked the one that's label I liked the best. So this is what uh, I ended up with. So Ezra Brooks 99, so it comes in at 99 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cheap, I think you said it was like under 25 bucks, right? Yeah, it was like 24 and some change. Okay, um, so we're gonna give it a try and see what we think. Got uh, nosing and tasting notes over here, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. I, yeah, I'm getting dog hair right away, and we don't have we don't have a dog, so it's not just like I'm smelling it like on my clothes or on the carpet or anything. Like it has a hint of Pomeranian. It's pretty mellow. There's not a ton of smell there. Oh, um, I I almost jumped the gun. This thing even says like uh, that the nose is pretty light for a 99 uh, charred oak, vanilla, caramel peanut notes it's pretty hard to like I mean you gotta stick your nose like practically in your glass in order to like get anything there's a little bit of caramel there maybe a little, not recommend. little bit of vanilla but it, it's not much so uh we'll we'll kind of go on to uh we'll go on to tasting Right away, I like the oh! I started talking, and I got a little burn, like right in the back of my throat. Um, right away, I like the the mouth feel, the the texture, the consistency, the mm -hmm. the weight of it. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. It feels it feels good, like drinking it. Like it doesn't feel. Um... It doesn't feel particularly oily, mm -mm. but it doesn't feel thin. Right, like the uh, the PBR was like, you weren't even really sure if you had taken a full sip. If it was like so elusive. Yeah. This, like you can tell it's there, but it's not, it's not unpleasant. Yeah. There's a pretty good sweetness right on the front of your tongue, I think, which is kind of like the, this thing says like vanilla, caramel, um, light brown sugar. Mm -hmm. That stuff's definitely there right in the front. I personally feel like on the, as it goes further back in your tongue, it kind of just like whispers away. It's just kind of like I'm there and then it's like, <laughs> goodbye. Like I left, I disappeared, <laughs> which for a 99 proof, you would think it would hang out a little bit more, but it just kind of seems to disappear for whatever reason. I think it's because it's not super oily, so it, it doesn't be, hang. I liked your, um, like your signing off of AOL, like goodbye. I like, I like this. It's, yeah, I'm getting like the I can I can get the light brown sugar, mm -hmm. um, and kind of like the peppercorn. What else did I get in there? I was reading something that I was yeah. like, yeah, I can taste that. So this yeah. thing says creamy caramel, vanilla, light brown sugar, a uh, little bit of oak, peppercorn, peanuts, and then it kind of says on the finish there's caramel uh, and vanilla oak leather peanut shells and a layer of rye spice i get a little bit of the rye spice i get some of those notes i feel like it really tapers off pretty fast and pretty hard personally it doesn't finish long the burn kind of lingers though or yeah maybe that's just me yeah i guess what i would say is maybe a better way to look at it is the further back it goes on your tongue the less flavor i get out of it fair like that's kind of my thought on it so uh, we're going to take a quick break and uh, drink some water. Right, we're back. back. Round two. Still smells a little bit like a wet dog.
I would personally say two things. One, on the opening up, like the longer this has been in an open bottle, <clears throat> more of that like kind of, like we keep saying, like wet dog, dog hair kind of smell, more of that has come through and it's kind of like, it's almost overpowering on the, like the nose. On the palate, it's very nice. Like I, I would, for a $24 bottle of whiskey, I would keep this on my shelf for like when a friend's coming over and being like, oh, you want some bourbon? Here, like drink this, you know, cause I'm a, I'm a cheap person. I don't want to give them the good stuff. Um, but I don't think that I would like fall in love with this. That That's kind of my thought. So um, what are you thinking? I swear I like always get nervous to swallow alcohol because I'm afraid of the burn and so my nervousness causes me to swallow weird and then it always burns worse I think that's why it hit me so hard the first time what are your... I haven't made up my mind I can't tell I really I want to like it and I think it's just because it's like the pride of like I picked this it has the prettiest label. I want to like it. But there's just something about it. It's like kind of that like wet dog, like stinky gym sock. That's like just a whisper of a gym sock. Yeah. <laughs> that I just can't, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's unbalanced. Yeah. Yeah. So universally we agree, Ezra Brooks, if what you're looking for in flavor is dirty socks and dogs, this is the whiskey is, for you. Yeah, this is great. Besides that, uh, I'm going to stick with uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed for now. And uh, Bridget really likes PBR. So. <laughs> I Just because it's, I don't know, it feels nostalgic. It's also disgusting. But like in a, in like in, like, I don't know, in, in a way that makes you feel kind of sympathetic towards it. That's weird. I, I don't hate this. I don't love it. Like you said, I don't think I'm, I wouldn't fall in love with it, but like, it's not bad. I can think of probably, probably three or four whiskeys just off the top of my head that are in this similar price range that I probably go to first. Um, we recently, and we probably should have just filmed it, but we recently tried Buffalo Trace for the first time. I would personally go with that over this. Did we not film that? We did not. Oh. Um, so at some point we'll get another bottle of Buffalo Trace and we'll, we'll film our thoughts on that because that's kind of like a hallmark bourbon. Like I think Buffalo Trace is one of the most sold bourbons in America actually, which is kind of weird. So um, anyways guys, it was a great pleasure and uh, we hope you have a uh, great uh, night and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.